So we are in front of one of the famous kisses in the art history. And this one has a special story. And you said that André Breton had one up on his bed, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, Breton had a poster of, uh, of this, uh, an exhibition poster with this motif hanging above <laughs> his uh, hanging above his bed and uh, he also had a print of a uh, graphic print of Monk, an original called Towards the Forest where you see some of the same figure, two, two people holding each other, being very close and melting into each other. And with no face. Uh, that's interesting, yeah, because you, you previously asked me if he was interested in people kissing and I responded no. Uh, and I believe that's about the people. He was more interested in desire and the uh, limitedness of desire and how you can lose control and lo lose a sense of yourself and selfhood uh, in the face of desire and melt into another person or, or completely lose control. But you said that probably he wanted the viewer to be interested about his biography and he invented a biography. Oh, of course, that's a uh, that's an, uh, a different story because people often tend to 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 ask, uh, is this monk? As you you did, is, is it monk kissing? I don't know. I don't think it's it's really it's it's it's. It's not really a relevant question, but Munk is fooling us to ask the question. And that's, this is his, his uh, strike of genius. He is always playing on biography and, uh, and putting up a biographical trap for us to, to not really understand what the art is about, but yeah. to look at him instead. Yeah, he had a sense of posterity. Absolutely, uh, and, and you know that biographical trap is very essential to that uh, sense because he's very concerned about creating his own myth and relating that myth to the artwork. That's the that's I believe his approach to his work as a total was it to survive through the myth of his uh, of the artist. Merci. Thank you.